adverse impact across the country. But you know, according to our comptroller, it would have a disproportionate adverse impact upon Texas. Now, obviously, it would reduce obviously the economic activity in the state, reduce jobs, and lighten the pocketbooks of Texans. The comptroller said that we could see a family of a three to four having their income, their family income, reduced somewhere between thirteen and sixteen hundred dollars per year. But think about two other aspects. Because we are the energy capital uh, of the country, and this is an energy tax, it's going to have a, a significant impact upon us. It's going to have, you know, think about the number of marginal wells that we have in the state. We're the number one producer of oil and natural gas, but a large part of our production are marginal wells. That's going to increase the cost of keeping those marginal wells in production, hasten the day that you have to, have to plug those wells. In addition to that, it's going to increase, obviously, just the general production cost uh, here in Texas. And think about it as the refining capital of the country. It's going to increase, obviously, those costs as well. But one of the things I think most people don't think of when you think of this particular issue is the adverse impact it will have on agriculture. We're the third largest agriculture exporting state in the country. And when you look at the costs, our Texas uh, Cotton Gin Association said it would increase their permitting fees by eight and a half million dollars per year. You will have some 3,800 Texas farms come under the regulation. About 840 of our cattle, cattle ranches, and about 640 by dairies. So for a number of reasons, uh, there would be significant adverse impact on Texas.